Thank you for watching live and local KWN TV. Hi, welcome to Sand Mountain Community Watch. We are so glad you tuned in today. We've got an exciting show. Got lots of guests uh, going to be on, and we, of course, we're going to do our announcements and have my trusty co-host co-host here. We minus one, minus one. Our other little co-host, uh, her mom is on spring break this week, so we didn't get to bring her on. And her mom should always work. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, I agree. Her mom should always work, so we can always babysit, Thank right? <laughs> so we miss Miss Abigail today. She's been the little highlight of our show the last two weeks, and uh, we miss her being here. But may, uh, maybe you can pay attention to me this time instead of her. She kind of have you been here the last two weeks? <laughs> she kind of. Um, Steals the show Steals when the show, she's around yeah. here, so uh, we miss her. But we'll, she'll probably be back next week, as, as Lord, as good Lord willing, she'll be back next week. Okay. So today, our show we're going to have with us Miss Brenda Powell. She is a author of a, uh, and not just an author. I think she's got just whole new thing going on here a lot of with going on. Uh, yeah paintings and devotionals and all kind of things but she wrote the adventures of sugar man the pony and we're going to find out about that we also have with us miss marquita robinson that has bama sweets and she's just involved in every kind of vendor event going on in the next few weeks and then we have our old reliable faithful mr patrick gifford from the otter rescue squad and they're having their fishing tournament again so he'll be on to tell us about that but before we get started, we want to do our announcements and, and get your pens and papers ready. There's a lot of stuff going on this spring. Look at all this. You want to help? Well, somebody's busy. I know. Do you want to help? I am helping them here. <laughs> so the first thing we want to talk about is Bright School. They're having their little, um, I guess it's kind of like a little prom for the, uh, si uh, what grades? Fourth through eighth grade from Bryant, Flat Rock, and North Sand Mountain is invited. It is Friday, April the 8th from 6 to 8 Central Time. $7 a person, and you need to see your homeroom teacher to purchase those tickets. Okay. Well, that'd be so exciting if you were that age to get to go to a prom, <laughs> wouldn't it? It wouldn't be at Michigan. Well, they don't that call age, it a prom. But... Well, no, you went to probably. Did you go when we went in high school? Yeah. Okay. I couldn't. Re... You didn't go with me, so I couldn't remember. That's why I didn't remember. <laughs> uh, Mountain, excuse me. Mountain View will be having their walkathon on Friday, April the eighth. So uh, see Miss Lisa at five nine seven three four six seven if you have any questions about that. This is a golf tournament coming up. Um, it's not till April 23rd, but you need to mark your calendars. This is for the Bryant School PTO. Uh, it's a... You don't have golf clubs, do you? I used to have. I don't have any more. Okay. Yeah, I, know, I knew you used to play. Uh, it's four-man team, $75 per player, $300 per team. First place wins $500. So all you golfers, we, have, we actually have some of the uh, applications at the office if you want to stop by and pick one up. Or you can contact Miss Stephanie Kirkpatrick at 597-3132. Also coming up in April the 16th, uh, Ebenezer Baptist Church will be having their wild game dinner, and the tickets are $10. You pay at the door. It starts at 6 o'clock Eastern Time, and the speaker will be Brad Clay with Final Descent Outdoors. They have um, all kind of the wild, I don't know, what, like ostrich? Can you eat ostrich? I'm I don't sure know. They have, things, they have weird food that you can eat that night. Wild game. I'm not sure what all they have, but I know it's it draws a big crowd. Something like bear and stuff like it, maybe snake I don't know. or something. I'm snake sure, and yeah. alligator, mm -hmm. I'm sure, and things like that. Um, they draw. It, there's always a crowd. I mean, you can't even drive by hardly. No. It's so I've busy. never been, but I'm going to try to. You want, would you like to go? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Are you, you know, cook? Joe goes. If not, I might go. Uh, well, I never cook. No, not on April 16th. I won't be cooking. That's two <laughs> days before the tax deadline. We know what I'll be doing. Um, this is all these are the uh, uh, vendor events that uh, Miss Marquita Robinson has coming up. So we'll talk to her about those. Uh, on, that's, a long, that's a long way. So we'll wait about that one. And we're going to wait about that one. April the 9th. Is that when this is? Yeah, I believe. It is the uh, North Sea Mountain Baseball and Softball 
5K. I, you, you can tell I don't. <laughs> you, you didn't pre read this, did you? <laughs> I did not pre read none of this. Um, <laughs> the uh, 5K run in North Sea Mountain Baseball and Softball is sponsoring it. Uh, it is going to be April the 9th. It starts at, registration begins at 7 Central and the race begins at 8 Central. Uh, you can pick up forms at Cook's Used Furniture. Uh, or you can call Amy Cook for, uh, or contact any softball or baseball player. Uh, they have medals that they'll be giving out. I wonder if they have one for sitting on the porch rocking while they all run by, because I could, I would. You could do I that could, one. Then. I don't even know if I'd be up early enough to do that or not. <laughs> uh, April 21st, Bryant Elementary will be celebrating Earth Day. I don't know how they're going to celebrate it, but and that's they what i we need to know that that they're going to be celebrating earth day this is about another one of uh, miss robinson's um, events that she's got coming up uh this is april 29th it's a long way off but you might want to start saving up for this and marking your calendars it's the impact learning center and it's their main uh, fundraiser and they do such a great job down there miss kathy mitchell um, but it is the 29th of April at the Goose Pond Amphitheater. It's called the Low Country Luau. Uh, $60 for the tickets and live music auction and authentic Cajun cooking. You'd like to go for that, for the food, I'm sure. Sound like a plan. Yeah, I think they do the uh, boiled shrimp and the, is it crawfish? Probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my sister used to do those, and they were so good. Mm. She, you know, when you pour them out and put them in a cardboard box and eat them out of the box, yeah, mm. it's that's good eating. Uh, North Sea Mountain Band Boosters. Now, I don't know if y'all remember, but the North Sea Mountain Band is planning on going to Hawaii uh, for the 27th, 27th, 75th anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Uh, it'll be they're having a yard sale for to help raise money for that. It's going to be on April 16th from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central Time, and that will be there at the school. Uh, all the money raised will go to the North Sun Mountain Marching Bison Band and help them out. And also, if you want to um, make donations or want to set up, there's a fee, I think, to set up, but uh, you can set up there and also help them out. So make sure you... I, I need to do that. I need to clean out some closets and take it and let... Donate it to them? Yeah, donate it to them. Let them sell it. Um, also, one other announcement. It's April 3rd, which that's... Is that this... That's Sunday, isn't it? Yep. Uh, Sunny Horizons will be having a fundraiser and walk at Scottsboro Fairgrounds. And this is where they'll be auctioning off. You remember we had our guest a couple of weeks ago, Charlie the Duck with the Big Feet. Yeah. Uh, Charlie wasn't the guest, but the... <laughs> He was the, in the, the book. author the author was and uh they're doing uh going to be auctioning off two of those books to help uh i think this is all not alzheimer's um autism oh. autism uh research so that's they're doing a fundraiser for that and that i think is going to be all my announcements for today other than i want to say and you uh, will join in with me i'm sure we how much we appreciate the uh, Tri-Community Fire Department, and I meant to get that list of all the other people that participated. I know Ida Rescue Squad participated. They did their mock wreck yesterday, and it was cold out there, but uh, Life Force came and sat down, and they had Cornerstone mm -hmm. uh, Funeral Home participated, Otter, Rosalie, uh, Flat Rock, um, I think so. there was others. Jackson County Sheriff's Department was yeah. participated. State Trooper came. Right. So they had all these different agencies that participated and um, kind of showed the kids there. at North, And they had students from Pisgah as well mm -hmm. that participated. I said participated about 20 times, hadn't they? They all got together and did this mock wreck, and it was – it. I hope it touched the kids as much as it did me because it really made me stop and think how quick – you know, I mean, just how quick you can be texting and driving. That was the thing. Texting kills is their hashtag texting kills. And um, hopefully it made an impact on some of the kids and it'll make a difference. Uh, but I appreciate all the people that volunteered and took their time to, to go and, and work with that. And especially want to thank Josh Aragaki and Michael Freeman that 
had the vision to get all this together mm-hmm. and and if you've never volunteered and you don't all they ask is just a little bit of appreciation that's all they ask they don't they don't do it for money they don't do it for anything they don't even do it for the appreciation because they very seldom get appreciated no, probably not but uh volunteer firemen volunteer rescue squad any of those people you know it's easy for us to sit back and criticize when we're not out there doing it but you get out there and do it and it's a different story so uh next time you see a volunteer fireman or uh, a policeman or anybody tell them how much you appreciate them and how much you um appreciate all that they do they give of their time and their um to, just to try to make a difference in their community so we want we I, we appreciate them we thank them we thank the fire department and the the rescue squads and and all there that they do for not just higdon but bryant flat rock all of them rosalie pisgah eider a um, good bunch of people working out there to help take care of us so we appreciate that all righty i think that's all we're going to do for now we're going to take a commercial break when we come back we're going to have miss brenda powell and we're going to learn all about this sugar man the pony so y'all stick around we'll be right back the moore family name has built a legacy of trust compassion and peace of mind by standing with families during time of loss now in our 70th year the moore family commitment grows even stronger from affordable traditional services to cremation our experienced staff stands ready to follow through on you and your family's wishes since 1945 the moore family of funeral homes north sand mountain and trenton always dedicated to those we serve Folks around these parts have put their trust in the Ponder name for filling their prescriptions for decades. Jennifer Ponder Hicks, doctor of pharmacy, continues the tradition of fast, friendly, and personal service at Ponder's Mountain Pharmacy. Ponder's Mountain Pharmacy is convenient to our customers. Between Dobbins and North Sand Mountain School, next to Northeast Alabama Health Services, Ponder's Mountain Pharmacy gladly accepts most insurance plans, including Alabama Medicaid. When the need arises, have your doctor phone Ponder's Mountain Pharmacy at 597-4020. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Ponder's Mountain Pharmacy. The color of spring is here at Glass Farm Nursery, Highway 11, four miles south of Trenton. Come down and see us. While supplies last, we have seven-gallon weeping cherry trees for $59. Also at Glass Farm Nursery, get three-gallon Kimberly Queen sun ferns for just $12.99 each. A full line of tropicals available now, too. Glass Farm Nursery, open 9 to 6, Monday through Friday, 8 to 2 on Saturday. Since 1971, Glass Farm Nursery. Shop and compare, then come see us at Glass Farm Nursery, Highway 11, four miles south of Trenton. I'm your tailgate grill. Your buddy was in such a rush to get into the game, he didn't quite put me out. I see you bought the industrial sized bottle of lighter fluid. Smart. And if you got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get an Allstate agent and be better protected from mayhem. Like me. There's an Allstate agent right here in your community. Make your plans to be at a fundraiser and meet and greet for Sheriff Ray Cross. Barbecue and all the trimmings, and you can meet Sheriff Ray Cross, too, at Pee Wee Payne's Farm at 794 Curitan Mill Road in Rising Fawn. Mark your calendars for Saturday, April 9th from 2 until 5 p.m. Again, don't miss barbecue and all the trimmings and meet Sheriff Ray Cross. A fundraiser and meet and greet with Sheriff Ray Cross. Saturday, April 9th from 2 until 5 at Pee Wee Payne's Farm on Curitan Mill Road in Rising Fawn. Paid for by the candidate. Last year, I didn't go to H&R Block. But this year, I can go to Block and pay half what I pay my other guy. You can switch to Block and pay half too. Half price is a better price when you think about it. So follow us. We're going to H&R Block. Switch to Block and pay half. Join us for the Marion County Messenger in prime time. Monday nights at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central, right here on KWN-TV. Hi, welcome back to Sand Mountain Community Watch. We have with us Miss Brenda Powell, and she's done this, wrote a book. Now, you've not been writing a long time. No, I absolutely have not. So, um, tell me about what got you into this, and... Ah, well, it's actually a God story. Good. Because I'm a corporate sales rep for Staples. Mm-hmm. And you know, about five years ago, out of a desire to want to do more to help others, 
A long-forgotten dream I had to write a series of children's books about our pony Sugar Man resurfaced, and so I took a big leap of faith, and I started typing, and now I have The Adventures oh, of Sugar okay. Man the Pony, the now, first in a series. Did you have a pony named Sugar Man? We, we did. Oh, we okay. surely did, when our children were little. Mm-hmm. So it was a whole lot of fun, and he was a great pony, and now he's God's messenger of love, and teaches okay. children the importance of walking in love and being a blessing every day. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So now this book, when did you publish it? Uh, last year. It oh. hit the streets um, in May of 2015. And this is Sugar Man, I guess, here on the picture. Sugar Man the Pony and some of his playful barnyard friends. We okay. have Rudy the Rooster and Rufus the Donkey and Bella. Okay. Just a lot of fun characters. A lot of fun characters. Now, who's what kind of what market are you after as far as... You, you've been to North Sun Mountain School, I believe. Yes, yes. I go into schools. I go into churches. And... Um, I always hate to limit myself. You know, when I wrote it, I was thinking, okay, three to 10 year olds. But now that the book is out, babies are loving this because you see, I wrote a song that goes with this as oh. well the Sugar Man song. You actually wrote the song? I wrote the song. I composed it again, something I've never done before, oh, wow. but it lights the children up. Uh-huh. And grandmothers and mothers tell me that the song actually turns their babies' cries into smiles. Oh. So babies are enjoying the books. I've had adults purchasing the book for other adults. Wow. So um, it's even impacting special needs kids. Oh, yeah. Children with autism and Down syndrome. Right. Now, you so, have a web page and Facebook. And yes, yes. I have a website. It's sugarmanthepony.com. Is the music, you have a music video? I do. <laughs> I do. And it's, you can actually access it from my um, website. Okay. But it's also on YouTube. Oh, really? So chill, and there's a Sugar Man dance and everything, and oh. kids love it. And you should have seen us at North San Mountain School. Oh, the, even the teachers were doing we're the dance. Oh, yes. We had so <laughs> much fun. And it just lights me up. I don't know who has more fun, me or the children. Right. Right. So we just have a whole lot of fun, but you know, and they want to know, well, when is book two coming? Well, guess what? It's already underway. Oh, great. And so we have more children's songs coming. But what I love about this is it's a book with a purpose and a message because I donate a portion of all proceeds to help um, those in need, children oh, in need. Good. And kids just love, love, love this book. And this has a, the CD with it. It has the CD oh. with it. It has a really fun look and find activity. There's even Sugar Man the Pony cookies that go along with this book that are out of this world. You're kidding. Yes. And there are discussion questions. It's actually a teaching tool. So it is ready made. It's actually being taught in different schools and in churches, home school groups oh yeah so it's it's just a whole um it's a whole activity and online on my website you can download a free activity page okay one day i'm, I'm hoping to have like a vacation bible school curriculum Wow. So lots of good things that are coming. Yeah. So we even just, and again, this is something that I've never done before, but now I do. Right. But we just recorded my first worship song. Oh. And so we're introducing it. I had the CDs, in fact, just arrived at my house today. So I'm real excited. Great. But um, I, I have a speaking engagement in Madison next week. And so we are introducing it. Ashley Smith is so talented. She's singing it. Oh, and so okay. I'm doing an audio reading of the women's devotional that I'm also working on called Whispers from His Heart, and so I, I've played some real pretty music um, that's being, you know, on, in the background, and then I'm reading other scriptures of hope, so it's very, very uplifting. Wow. Yeah. So where can you get the women's devotion? Well, it isn't published. I'm still working on okay. it, but you can purchase this CD from iTunes. It will soon be up on Amazon. I'll have it up on my website, okay. and you can also buy it from CD Baby. Wow. Yes, lots so of when things. So when the Lord started, he just, he got a whip after you you <laughs> have no idea you have no idea that's awesome but you know he he's faithful yes so what he calls you to do he's going to give you everything that you need to right. do it right that's true if we just listen yes that's you have to listen <laughs> and you have to do your part right absolutely right. Yeah. absolutely that is so that's awesome yeah so um have you got more speaking engagements coming up soon any around this area or? well I've, i have the one in madison mm -hmm. and um of course i'm taking you you know more on mm -hmm. and I have to work all this in between my job okay one so day, still work I am time. still working full-time and one day I just know that it's going to go in, in another direction so right. you know just
is still taking, you know, invitations into schools. Mm-hmm. I've been to Decatur Christian Heritage Academy in Decatur. Mm-hmm. And then I've been to Welty and, um, of course, DAR School mm-hmm. and some others. So we just have so much fun. Well, good. We have so good. much fun. Now, when you go to the school, you read it and you we play read the, the CD. book. Yes. And then we, we watch the video after that. And then the children get up with me and we do the Sugar Man dance. Okay. And so it's it's about a 40 minute presentation. If I had thought in time, I would have had Mike play the CD and let you dance for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have been a whole lot. And I would have done it too. But you would have to get up with me. Oh, oh well, then in that case, we won't talk oh, about no. that. Oh, no. It's, it's just really a whole lot of fun. But now my grandchildren are in the video. Oh, good. And so they, um, I call them my sweet little ladybugs. Uh-huh. And so it, it is just a whole lot of fun. And, it, and it's great to watch how this has impacted people. Uh-huh. You know, and just just the story of how, what God has done in my life. You know, sometimes when I share this with people, I mean, they'll just start crying. Yeah. And, you know, I, I never know what to expect. Uh-huh. You know, but I just know that, that the Lord has given me this project, and it's not just for me. Right. You know, there are a lot of things for other people to do that He wants them to do. He just wants you to have the courage to step out and trust Him mm-hmm. and do what He asks you to do. Right. So, And you never know what that may be. Right. So, and it's uh, scary sometimes. It's, it's very, very scary. Well, it's very scary because you're stepping out of your comfort zone mm-hmm. into things that you don't know what you're doing. Right. But, you know, for me, it's like, you know, I never thought I was creative. But when I started typing and when I started trying, even though the beginnings were ugly and it took me four years for the whole thing to start coming out, it has just mushroomed. Wow. And so now it's like, okay, Lord, all right, you want me to be where? You want me to do what? Oh, okay, I'm going to do it, but right. I'm scared. Right. You know, and then it just, you know, starts to become like a second skin. Mm-hmm. And the, uh, it's, because you obeyed and you did what you felt like you needed to do it's blossomed and it's progressed and it's done really well oh yes i mean i even got to watch the lord change the heart of a an owner of a hallmark franchise in birmingham you know she went from telling me no to you know me sharing with her you know what god was doing with this book and right in the middle of the conversation she's like i want to order Mm -hmm. and she placed an order and she said this is a god thing isn't it Mm -hmm. and so you know it's from Biloxi, Tennessee, to Auburn, Opelika, to, you know, Birmingham. And it's even on Jeffers Pet in their catalogs that go international. I mean, oh. God has opened doors that only he can open. Right. And it's in several stores. In fact, I'm going to stop at your bookstore mm-hmm. here in Trenton well, and good. see if perhaps, you know, because uh, I don't have any books over here, but see if maybe they may want to carry them so folks locally, you know, can stop in. But, right. you know, but, but as doors open, I'm just going to continue to just keep walking right through them. Well, great. And we're glad you are. Well, it's a journey. Yeah. It's an absolute journey, but it's a fun one. Do you have any issues with going into the school system with it being... Do you have to watch what you... I, ha- You know, that I'm so <laughs> glad you asked that because really, I was told, one of the first things I was told was that you have written a Christian book and you're not going to go into public schools. Well, I love that because it's like the Lord sees it and it's like, okay, so what was the first school I was invited into? Mm-hmm. It was the largest kindergarten school in Marshall County, 564 kindergarten students. Wow. I performed 10 times that day. Wow. I held nothing back. And those... Those kids, I I kid you not, they did not know what it meant when they came in, what it was to walk in love and how to bless others every day. But when I left, they knew. Mm -hmm. And they also knew of ways to do that. And I mean, that gym lit up with their shouts of, hooray for Sugar Man. (laughs) And actually, I've been in more public schools than I have been in Christian schools. Wow. And so, oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, and that I think that's awesome because you never know that one. There's there's a child in every oh, yes. room that this may be the only chance they get to hear. Well, and that's it, and that was what I knew. I knew with this book it was going to be planting seeds of God's love mm-hmm. into the hearts of whoever, adults or children, right. you know. And it's been onto the mission fields. Wow. It has been into Guatemala. It has been into Nicaragua. It was translated into Spanish. It's been into Nepal, wow. into Uganda. Uh, people have bought it sent it into germany and iceland and canada the philippines 
He's busy. Yeah. This little pony is busy. <laughs> and I can hardly keep up with him. Oh, my gosh. So, so anyway, it is just a, um, it's a God project. Yeah. There is no other explanation for what's going on with this. Right. Right. So that is awesome. I'm so glad that that you're doing this and that you're being allowed in these schools and and that you're because you're making a difference. You know, well, you're making a difference. I believe I believe that it is, and it's a funny thing because I, I look at it and I don't think, oh, look what I did. It's kind of like, did I have anything to do with it? <laughs> I mean, that's my name, but but this is the Lord's, you know. Right. And the the illustrator Barbara Kilgore, she is from um, Scottsboro. Oh, okay. Extremely talented, uh-huh. and it took me two and a half years to find her I didn't think I would ever find someone that could see the the characters you know I knew what these these characters needed to look like but finding someone that could put them on paper right. and bring them to life in a way that they needed to be but when I found her and it's like the Lord just was like boom right. you know there she was and and it was a hard lesson of patience that he yeah. taught me right but you know what it became very foundational for everything else that I've been doing and so I've had to learn to wait but the results are, are amazing. Mm-hmm. So I think, and the human characters will come out in book two. Oh, okay. So a whole lot of fun now, is on the way. Now, will this be Sugar Man's owner? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's his family. Okay. It is his family. And it actually, it, it's going to talk about celebrating our differences. You know, children, not just children, but um, adults too. Mm-hmm. You know, we're worried about, oh my gosh, you know, do I want to be different? You know, are people going to like me because I'm different? Well, Sugar Man's faced with the same thing. Mm-hmm. But you know what? We're all God's masterpiece. Mm-hmm. And it's okay to right. be different. Right. And so that's what book two addresses. Okay. And so it, it's all very good character and moral, you know, development and, mm-hmm. and, and all of that that so do you have any idea when it'll be out book two oh uh, we are trying hard for december or, or okay. not december but for christmas oh, so but okay. barbara works a full-time job too yeah. so i think she's completed maybe page eight and you know it's like a 44 page book wow <laughs> like this one yeah but you know when she turns it on buddy she can turn it on uh-huh. and so i'm i just i keep telling barbara that the people that have book one they're just they keep when is book two coming we have to get this thing done yeah so i mean i've already got five written so just wow oh yeah oh that's yeah. great Great. Mm-hmm. So Sugar Man will just keep on going, and we'll just take it as far as, as the Lord wants it to go. Well, that, I, I think that is awesome. I'm so proud, and I'm so uh-huh. thank you, Miss Pat Holman, for telling me all about Miss Pyle. Um, this picture, now is this something that y'all will be selling as oh, well? Oh, absolutely. You can actually go on the website. I have several, um, and they're giclés, which means it's a fine art. It's the highest and the best form of art print that you can get. This will last 75 years. Wow. And I have them priced very well, and they come in all sizes. This one is a 16 by 20. Uh-huh. I have them in 12 by 16s and 8 by 10s. And just now are they the same picture or is it oh different? No, oh no, they're different, they're different oh. ones. In fact, this the library in Scottsboro, they've created a wall of wonder with them. Oh. And that's what I call it. It's like create your wall of imagination and wonder for the children. Mm-hmm. They love them. Absolutely love them. Some of them have sayings on them like, you know, we've got the kittens who disobey their their mom. It's another book I haven't even written yet. But when Barbara <laughs> found out about it, she had to illustrate it. Uh-huh. But they actually disobey and they end up in the boys underwear hanging <laughs> and so sugar man's gonna have to go and rescue, rescue them. them but it says on there hang in there help is on the way oh and so the, it's very and i have adults that purchase these yeah. prints for their home for their office you know oh, it's yeah. not just for kids right so yes go to my website check it out right now i have free shipping okay so take advantage right take advantage and so and um, what's the website address it is sugar man the pony the pony dot com Dot com and Facebook just, just just Facebook I'm on there as Brenda W Powell or Brenda Warren Powell that's okay. my maiden name there is a Sugar Man the Pony page okay and then Morning Glory Enterprises I have three pages oh okay so, well good for you yes okay. I do and if you want to try Sugar Man the Pony cookies all you have to do is just send me an email or send me a Facebook request okay. and you take one bite and you're hooked okay well great well it's so <laughs> nice to meet you Miss Powell thank, thank you. you so much for coming on absolutely and we're gonna have to take a another commercial break when we come back we are going to have miss uh, marquita robinson she's going to tell us about the spring vendor events that she's got coming up and some other uh, she's got events all over the place and hopefully you can join us for that that sounds good to yeah, me great so thank you we'll be right back thank you so much full of god's love he lights up like a firefly when you're sad he'll make you glad so don't Give up With God's help You 
can do anything. Randy's Country Kitchen, open at the foot of Sand Mountain on Highway 136 West in Trenton. Beginning Monday, March 14th, Randy's features extended hours. Open Monday through Thursday, 11 to 9, and Friday and Saturday until 10 p.m. Don't miss the regular buffet every day and the famous seafood buffet on Friday, 4 p.m. to close. Pizza, stromboli, and roasted chicken still available at Randy's Country Kitchen. And you can have it delivered, too, by calling 657-5330. Randy's Country Kitchen, Highway 136 West, at the foot of Sand Mountain in Trenton. Morning Star Dry Cleaners, your local dry cleaners, located at 57 Crabtree Street, right behind Door Crisp Realty in Trenton. Morning Star Dry Cleaners offers a drop-off location for after hours and pickup service for businesses. We wash, dry, fold, iron, press, dry clean, and yes, we do alterations too. Now under new ownership, Morning Star Dry Cleaners. Open until 6 p.m. Monday through Friday for your convenience. Call them today, 657-3685. Morning Star Dry Cleaners on Crabtree Street, right behind Door Crisp Realty in in Trenton. BBS Wholesale and Salvage Grocery in the Higdon across from Ponders on Highway 71. Now at BBS Wholesale, get fresh eggs, milk, and cheese. Check out our new frozen food section now available. Check out our super deals on name brand laundry detergent too. Get large bags of snacks at unbelievably low prices. BBS Wholesale is your headquarters for Easter goodies. We have paper products, canned goods, health and beauty aids, cereal, and more. Inventory changes weekly. BBS Wholesale and Grocery, Higdon, Alabama. Wednesday through Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 11 to 3. Now accepting EBT cards. When you or a loved one is facing a life-limiting illness, hospice care may be the answer. At Tapestry Hospice, the patient is the focus of our care. We are here to serve you and facilitate your wishes. Tapestry caregivers are concerned with managing your pain, keeping you in touch with your physician, and helping you make plans for the future. Hospice is life-affirming, and Tapestry Hospice can help you deal with all aspects of life, mind, body, and soul. Call Tapestry Hospice for more information, 706-383-8812. That's 706-383-8812. Tapestry Hospice. Redefining Hope. Delivering top quality health care locally, we are Northeast Alabama Health Services. With seven locations, there's one near you. Scottsboro, Section, North Sand Mountain in Higdon, Skyline, Woodville, Fife, and Fort Payne. We accept Medicare, Medicaid, and of course your private insurance. If you're unemployed, low income, or have a high copay or deductible, you may also qualify for a reduced rate office visit as low as $16. Ask about our free medication program. And ladies, you may qualify for a free or reduced rate mammogram. And cervical cancer screenings are available too. Putting your health concerns first. We're Northeast Alabama Health Services. Dobbins Supermarket, serving the community for over 70 years with fresh cut meats, fruits and vegetables, and a full line of grocery items. Dobbins is known far and wide for their signature sausage in four flavors. Dobbins Supermarket, Highway 71 in Higdon. This week at Dobbins, find pork shoulder roast, $1.99 a pound, fried drumsticks, 89 cents a pound, boneless chicken tenders, $1.99 a pound, hickory hollow smoked bacon, 10 pound box, just $19.99, and bar ass sandwich ham, one pound pack, $1.99. This week, at Dobbins. Join us for the Radio and TV Classified. Weekdays at 9 a.m. 8 Central on KWN TV. Hi, welcome back to Sand Mountain Community Watch. We have with us Miss Marquita Robinson. And when I saw her, I thought, I know her from somewhere. We did a... Uh, event yes. at uh, bridgeport yes. elementary school sure together the, the pto uh, yeah and uh, you were doing usborne books I at was. the time but now you are just at, like blooming and going into everything you have one two three four is that right four events I've coming up three events coming up and a yard sale coming okay up, so, okay yeah. all right mm-hmm. uh, it's, okay that's the yard sale all right well tell us a little bit miss robinson about or can i call you marquita you can okay. please uh, you <laughs> uh, well to begin with what is this mo- you're raising money for what well as you had said earlier north sand mountain is going to hawaii mm-hmm. north jackson high school band is also going to hawaii along with scottsboro and we're forming one band called the all county band okay and so we are raising money for these children 
children to be able to go to Hawaii. I okay. mean, if we're up looking at $3,000 per person to go, it's really expensive. And on top of that, our band purchase uniforms every about every 10 years. Okay. And it is that time again. <laughs> so on top of the Hawaii trip, we're purchasing new uniforms at North Jackson. Wow. So anything we can do to, you know, bring advertisement to this and bring in support, we're looking for that because right. we need all the help we can get. Right. In all honesty. And these Does the county not help with that county funds? I'm going to be very careful in my yeah. wording. <laughs> and we are a self sustaining band. Okay. And we always have been. Now we have gotten help in the past for like with the band house. They mm-hmm. matched um, our, our our raisings for that to help build the band house. But we are a self sustaining band. Okay. And so our funds do come from fundraising that we do all year long. Right. Um, donations from the community, small businesses, mm-hmm. anything we can get. Parents, mm-hmm. uh, band fees, uh, everything is self sustaining. Okay. How it many is. members is in your band? We got them about 85 right now. Oh, wow. Give or take. Okay. Yes. Okay. So. Well, good. And I know you're excited about go- the Hawaii trip. I am. I'm excited for the kids. Right. The opportunity. Yes. Um, yes. You know, the chance to be invited to come and celebrate and perform at the celebration of the 75th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. Mm-hmm. That's an amazing opportunity. Right. And I'm so proud of the hard work and the dedication that each one of these kids have put in mm-hmm. and be able to, to be recognized for that right. and, and able to go to this. I'm very excited for every one of them. Right. They deserve it. And I just, I, we don't have, I mean, a big band but at the same time we've got a wonderful group of kids yeah. that work really hard and i'm just proud of every one of them i think anytime you you have band members they because they put forth they they have to work extra hard oh yes to maintain their grades to stay in the band yes. you know practice yes. practice practice we have after school practice uh three days a week mm-hmm. during marching season twice during regular you know just off season we have twice a week plus we have two can- two weeks of band camp oh yeah um that are just eight hours of hot heat mm-hmm. you know you we don't get any time off right. we work year round right. um to perform for the community to perform at ball games to perform at concerts competitions yeah. and these kids are just a wonderful group of individuals mm-hmm. and they deserve this right well, good well so, we want to help you every way yes. we can so tell me a little bit the first event you've got coming up is april 9th is that right yes ma'am that is in flat rock okay at the community club yes across from strickland's lumber okay. I, i've been told there are two there's a community center and a community club. I got the two confused. Okay. There's so at the Flat Rock Community Club. They are across from Strickland Lumbers. It's from 9 to 6. Mm-hmm. And now we, that's central time. Yes. Okay. Yes. And we will have 20 plus vendors there. Okay. Um, we will also be serving soups and sandwiches for, okay. for purchase and uh, taking donations as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, the so the vendors are like mostly home-based businesses Correct. that We've, come out. Avon. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Unique. Yes, ma'am. We have um, Initials Inc. We have um, Rusty Rooster. She's coming from Chattanooga, and she takes um, old vintage items and re vamps them up oh. into new stuff. It's really, really neat. Um, I love well, that, that Yes. Kind of oh, I'm excited. We'll have Pampered Shelf. Okay. Um, we have 31 Gifts, Sassy Ruffles Boutique. It's a clo- children's clothing. Okay. Uh, Bama Sweets will be there. That's now my bakery. You're, you're, you own Bama Sweets? <laughs> I do. Okay. I do. And so you make cupcakes, cakes? I do cupcakes, cakes. Um, I do fudge, homemade candies, chocolate covered strawberries. I um, also do special events. Uh, I must have I know. I know. I'm, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> I'm going to have to make another run out. Um, But we do uh, do weddings. We do birthday parties. We do any kind of special events. Um, So, yes, definitely. How long have you been in business making? Um, I have been baking better part of 10 years. Um, I had a shop in Stevenson for two years and then took time off to take care of my grandparents and some other stuff. And um, they recently passed away, and I started back up yeah. I, you know i've had free time on my hands and needed to do something and this is something that i love it's something i'm passionate about mm-hmm. so i started it back up and it's been doing really well well good you know, really really pleased with it good. so you know and most people are particular about their you know their cakes and mm-hmm. their cookies and all that and if they find one that they like they yes. don't go nowhere else that's right it's like a hairstylist exactly you know, if you find one that you like that's it yes i'm going nowhere else i was very blessed to do a baby shower a couple of weeks ago in scottsboro and one of the ladies that was there one of the guests is, has a wedding coming up and I, t- I said i'm booked i'm sorry and she said please i've never tasted any icing like this ever before i will drive and meet someone i just want your cake i don't want anybody else's cake oh, at my wow. wedding and i said yes ma'am 
ma'am we'll work it out so my husband's like i guess i'm driving i said yes you are because i have an event booked she uh, needs a cake yeah. so we're gonna work it out but wow. so and it, it's it's rewarding when i hear people yeah. you know oh, that yeah. are that happy about it so oh, it's exciting yeah. that's great yes so uh you'll be set up here yes. at, at flat rock yes. as well yes then you also have another now and all the money the vendors what the vendors pay yes the goes vendors toward the, to the band okay. right. and then the concessions i'm assuming right. will. okay mm-hmm. yes uh, and of course, all donation, donations. Yes, will be, all donations would be greatly yeah. appreciated. Definitely. Uh, Stevenson City Park is April sixteenth. Yes. Now that's a, it says Mother's Day Expo. Yes. Number one. Yes, we have two. I had so many vendors that wanted in um, that I had to do two events. So I have okay. one on April sixteenth again from nine to six, okay. and that is in Stevenson. And then I did another one on April the twenty third in Otter. Um, okay. Because I just had so many people. Um, we just said, okay, we'll just do it twice. Mm-hmm. Um, and and we'll have 25 plus vendors in Stevenson. This one's going to be huge. It's going to be indoor and outdoor. Okay. Uh, very excited about it. There'll be signs up. Uh-huh. Um, now well, it's at the uh, City Park building. Yes, at the okay. park building. Yes. Is that the little log cabin? No, no it's past the log cabin. It's where the pool is. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's right yeah. there. It's the park pool building. Okay. Yes. I, yeah, I know where that is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. And that is April 16th. Yes. Okay. And then the 23rd is the one I get to go to yes. after tax season. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I'm excited about it. Yeah, I've done I'm mark exci- my calendar yay. about it. I'm excited for you. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. Now, who I, what vendors are you going to have at Flat Rock? Do you know? We will have... Um, Usborne Bo- uh, Books, uh-huh. we'll have Pink Zebra, It Works, Unique, um, Avon will be there, Pampered Chef, um, we have Chloe and Isabel, a boutique, another, uh, it's a jewelry, oh, okay. yes, yeah, um, the vinyl thing in life, they do vinyl works with shirts, oh, car yeah. tags, that kind of thing, and they're going to be able to do it on site, Oh, so good. you can have something made on site, which is going to be really exciting, yeah, so. instead of having to order, exactly, yeah. which makes it really And a lot easy. of times these vendors, now I don't know, they might not always, but a lot of times they'll have discounts that day, they'll have, yes, we'll have door prizes, oh, okay, yes, we'll have door prizes, giveaways, you can order online, or mm-hmm on the facebook page you can order on any of those and you know pre-order and have it ready when you get there as oh, well okay. um, but yes we'll definitely have packages mother's day specials different yeah. things like that yeah so. do you have a sensi ladies we do okay we do at okay. all three of them we we actually went to one at otter oh five years ago i guess four or five years ago and they had a sensi and then i think they mm-hmm. had the um on the jewelry premiere premiere yep yeah. i'll have premiere there as well okay good um, jam berry which mm-hmm. is nails yeah um we'll have premiere designs um i have christie's creations and she is a stay-at-home mom that does handcraft uh clothing for children oh, okay. she does hair bows different things like that okay. um rodin and fields yeah Yep, that'll, um, I'm excited about their new tan line. Oh, they have okay. a new I tan line. That. I've seen it, and because I don't, I don't tan in a tanning bed or anything like that. Right. But I, some, I'm tell my husband the bigger I get, <laughs> my tan fades away. I need help there. Well, look how wide I am, and all I am, all I, I never tan. I just my moles just oh, well, connect, and it go. looks so, like I tan. Yeah, well, yeah. that works too. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, we'll have a red barn earth oh, yeah. farm so we'll be mm-hmm. there. Yeah, so I'm really excited Mary about that. Ann. Yes, yeah. very excited about that. Good. Well, so, we're excited mm-hmm. about these events coming up. I love this this kind of thing. You know, we Me always too. do one in December with the Small Business Women's association but i'm excited about these right. coming up and hopefully we'll be able to raise some money for the I band and so. um if you know a band member yes. you know north Sand mountain pisgah no we know north Sand mountain north jackson and scottsboro, and scottsboro. will be an all-county band and um we're doing april 30th in stevenson we'll have a yard oh, sale that's right, the yard for sale. and that will be it's going to be a 10 plus family yard sale individual band members will be raising money for their funds and also um starting the first of april we will be doing our get gatlinburg getaway and it's oh. ten dollars a ticket and it's a two night stay in gatlinburg with a fireplace like a jacuzzi all uh-huh. the good stuff it's gonna be right near the tanger outlet mall so if it's uh-huh. good for all those shoppers right yeah um, plus you get two hundred dollars spending money oh and um if you don't if you win the trip and you don't want to take it you can opt out and get the four hundred dollar value which oh, is four hundred dollars okay. cash for ten dollar for ten dollar ticket and north sand mountain and north jackson both will be selling those tickets okay starting the first of april through the second or the first tuesday in may is when we'll draw it at the oh, band booster okay. meeting all right so, so y'all keep that in mind yes. and save up so you can buy the buy some some tickets yes and, definitely uh if, 
I, hopefully you'll you'll be luckier than I am. I never win. I anything. never win anything either. But that, that's great though that y'all are doing that. Thank so you. Yes. Uh, make sure some of you band members stop by the tax clinic and let me buy a ticket. <laughs> so uh, well, we appreciate you coming. Thank you on. so much. And, and I good to see you again. You, you too. You too. Thank and, you. And uh, y'all make sure you mark your calendars. You cannot miss an event in mm. April the no. 9th, the 16th, <laughs> 23rd, or the 30th. That's right. Any of those days, go out and check them out. Help help the bands. Help them go to Hawaii and plus get some good deals for That's yourself help Absolutely. our local business and shop local so we appreciate it and y'all stick around when we come back we're going to have our, our good friend mr gifford from the outer rescue squad so y'all stick around we'll be right back thank you so much thank you i appreciate it A time-tested financial institution equipped with the latest banking technology. The Bank of Dade with mobile banking to fit your on-the-go lifestyle. Download our latest app today for your iPhone, Android, or tablet to bank on the go. Check your balance, pay bills, make deposits, and keep track of your account anytime and anywhere with the Bank of Dade's smartphone app. Make life easier by using today's most advanced banking technology to your advantage. Call us at 657-6842 or visit on the web at bankofdade.com. Your hometown bank since 1956, the Bank of Dade. Main offices on Highway 11 North in Trenton and drive throughs on Highway 11 North and Highway 136 West. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Methamphetamine affects everyone, your neighbors, your friends, and even your family. Know the signs. Physical symptoms include, you may have extreme difficulty sleeping and even insomnia, and you may lose your appetite. Know the signs. Please know the signs. You can seem nervous and anxious and even have paranoia. Know the signs. Overheat easily and sweat without even being hot. Know the signs. Dilated pupils and even hair loss. Know the signs hallucinations and delusions and you can also have tachycardia which is a rapid heart rate know the signs you may have liver damage and loss of skin elasticity know the signs you may notice unexplained financial instability and social isolation know the signs you may have a false sense of euphoria coupled with a strong depression and even risky behavior legal trouble memory loss and repeated incarceration please know the signs unfortunately we do Attention small business owners. Want to save money on your employee health insurance plan? Learn the little-known solution that could save thousands of dollars on your health insurance benefits and save your employees money, too. Call Health Markets for a free consultation, and one of our 3,000 local agents will show you how to make health care reform work for you. We'll design customized solutions for your business that can lower health care costs for you and your employees. We'll work directly with you to determine your needs. We search thousands of health plans from over 180 health insurance companies nationwide. You'll also find out if tax credits could save you money. Best of all, the service is free of charge. See why Health Markets has enrolled Americans in more than 2 million insurance policies. You don't have to wait for open enrollment to lower your cost. Call now. Find out how much you and your employees could be saving. Call 800-603-9983 If you're not currently advertising and marketing your business here on KWN-TV then you're missing out on reaching potential customers and new sales KWN-TV is proud to deliver the marketing message of dozens of great businesses in North Alabama Southeast Tennessee and North Georgia we look forward to showing how affordable it is for your business to market on television. Call us today at 423-762-1475. Email at kwntv7 at yahoo.com. Or send us a message on Facebook at KWN News Now. And we'll get to work alerting new customers about your product and services. Contact us today and let's get started. We're KWN TV and we're waiting to deliver your marketing message. Join us right here every week for Set the Hook with Pat Rose on KWN Live and Local TV. Hi, welcome back to Sand Mountain Community Watch. We have with us Mr. Patrick Gifford, and he's been, it's been a while since I saw you. It's been a couple of probably about six months or so. At least, yes. yeah. When the last time I saw you was when the fire was next door. Right. But... And that's been almost a year. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess it will be a year pretty soon in the spring, right. in the summer. But anyway, we're glad you're here. Glad now, what is going on at Idle? Y'all always got oh, something we, going on. 
we always have something going on. When you, you do. When you're a volunteer organization, you got to have something right. going on to keep keep funds to keep it going. Right, right. Uh, That's true. We're doing our uh, annual bass tournament at a uh, goose pond. Um, April 9th. April the 9th. Now that's what? Not this weekend, but the next? Next weekend, okay. correct. Okay. Um, we are, we usually have probably, hope to have, we hope to have at least 50 boats this time. Good. We didn't quite have that many last year, but we hope to have at least 50 boats this time. Uh-huh. And um, we don't get rich off of it. We pay 80% back. All right. But um, we have a good time and uh, it helps keep the power on and the, right. and the vehicles rolling. Right. Right, and that's what it's all about. That's what it's about. That, we were just talking about the mock wreck yesterday. He's got his little a little thing on that says Tex and Kills. Oh, and we were just talking about how it, what an impact that made until you actually see it. You know, I mean, I'm across the street watching from a distance, but when you see, and look, it's making the hair stand up on my arms. When you see the ambulance just pull up and you see the, the helicopter land and you know it could be your child. Right. It makes a difference. It does. It makes a big difference. Yeah. So uh, I appreciate what y'all do. Well, y'all just y'all we, have no idea how much I appreciate all that y'all do and and the involvement well, that you. you do and and um it, it's just awesome. It was I think it I, I think it left an impact probably on. Kids. I think it, I think it did also because I hear hear some of them talking about it when we was getting the patients out of the car and mm-hmm. you know yeah. how they do a lot of work. Michael put in a lot of work, mm-hmm. and I'm sure Josh did too. Mm-hmm. But I know Michael did. He came to our building on um, probably about four or five different meetings, mm-hmm. you know, getting everything organized through us to make sure that we was there and, and everything. Right. So right. I know Michael, you know, if he done that with all the other organizations, he, he put a lot of time he into did. it. He did. Yeah, he right. actually come by my, my office twice or three times to, mm-hmm. you know, we had them on the show a couple of weeks ago. Right. So they came on and talked about it a little bit. So uh, they, they've worked hard, him they and They have. Him. Josh they have worked and, real hard and well everybody involved you know did i mean just the fact that they took out their day right. you know to do to do that you know it, it says a lot for the person because they they took stopped in the middle of the day kind of in the cold it was cold out it there it was cool that morning that wind, yes it yeah, was that wind was really blowing and and took their time and came out just to hopefully make a difference in a child's life, you know, and adults. I mean, it touched, right. you know, all of that. All of my staff was out looking at at one point or another, you know, and um, I think it touched some of them too. So. It did. It touched quite a few of the adults and the children also that yeah. was there. So, and that's what y'all. Oh. Are, that's what this is about. That's what it's about. Making so. sure that we can keep doing things like this for the community, and and uh, even though. North Sand Mountains and another county and what we're in, you know, it's all about helping people and doing things right. for, for them. Right. We have so to work together. So that's what we do. Yeah. We don't see a county line. We right. do whatever we need to do for, for whomever. Right. And so Ida's right there. Yeah, we're, we're, just... we're about two miles from the county yeah. line. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and y'all, y'all have always been involved and done such good work there at Otter. We have. Y'all uh, been around for how I was just noticing. 50, that, 50 years last year. This will be our 51st year. Okay. Now, you're not, are you the, you're not chief anymore? I'm not. I stepped down as captain this last year. In fact, Jimmy Ashley is the new captain. He was supposed to be here also, mm-hmm. and uh, he owns his own um dump truck service Uh-oh, and well, he's hauling the sun's shining you gotta be making he, money he's hauling out asphalt right now okay. up on off of 155 in DeKalb County okay. and I was supposed to pick him up and come up here and something went wrong and he didn't get in line like he was supposed to so uh-huh. he took over as captain I'm still still there helping out doing okay. doing what I can do and we'll be there as long as I'm able to do something yeah but, well good uh, he well, you're took over kind of the face of the rescue squad aren't you well not really they, they some been there mm, well, I guess I've been there the longest, but yeah. there's some of them. Yes. Yeah. Well, what did, well, how did the car turn out? Did y'all, did, are we, y'all still? We're still working on it. We haven't got it to the uh, body shop yet to get it started, but we're still, we have the, the, quite a few dollars raised for it. Right. And, uh, if you tell something besides Auburn, you might. <laughs> I, 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 when, when Susan called me and told me I was going to be on, I said, I ain't got an Auburn helmet. I don't know if she'll let me be on or not. <laughs> but um, we might get a little bit of money off of that. Yeah, well, him. good. And uh, also, uh, good. That's great. But um, the truck's going to come along pretty good. I'll yeah. be glad when it does get finished. Oh, and yeah. It'll... And that'd be good to set out at events and stuff, too, yes. fundraising events and all that. So, so when, now, is this a, uh, we'll get back to the fundraiser here <laughs> that we go, we're talking about. The, um, do you have to, 
pre-register you can register that morning um we will send boats out at safe daylight which is usually around six o'clock we'll be over around four four thirty that morning oh, wow. getting everyone registered um you can pick these forms up online at uh, outer rescue squad dot org mm-hmm. or uh you can register that morning either one at outer rescue there at the uh, goose pond okay okay um now you know there's i noticed there's some a lot of high schools doing fishing competition they are a lot of high schools um doing fishing come they got fishing teams yeah. and then they do this do the competition we had a couple of guys with the uh Outer fishing team in the, our tournament last year. Okay, so the reason I thought of this, North Sam Mountain had two that came in. They had a boat, a, a team that came in. I want to say eighth place right. uh, at the national or whatever state competition. I guess it was. So you guys that done so good there go in and go and help and yes. support this. Get your parents or go out and get some sponsors to help pay the entry fee and and. Uh, you know that'd be that'd be good for them good practice as well so be real good yeah so are you do you fish are you just i fish from the bank i don't fish from a boat oh so i don't is there a reason behind that (laughs) just don't have a boat oh yeah that's yeah i understand and if you buy the boat then you gotta buy a truck to pull i mean that's where we are and you gotta have the license the insurance and everything right right you can't just buy a boat you gotta you know then the truck life jackets and all the motors and trolling motors and depth finders and it's an expensive it is it It is. is some of these people that enter these tournaments they've got uh couple of ten thousand dollars involved in everything mm-hmm. yeah at least right. at least uh i know some fishermen i need to give them a call to make sure they go check this out uh april 9th if they don't already know about it um because it's a it, it goes for a good cause it's a good it's fun it's now do you have to have two people uh we had one guy fish last year we do call it a buddy tournament okay and uh so it's best to have two. Yeah. Yes. Do you, you take the know. weight of the boat or the person? No. Does the person win or the boat wins? Well, it's the team that wins. Okay. The team wins. Okay. Uh, now, if they do the big fish, big fish entry fee is $10. If they win that big fish, then whoever caught the big fish wins that. that okay. Yeah, it's a pot that we pay back 100%. Like these oh, okay. 50 boats, there's 100 people fishing, and 100 times 10 to $1,000, so they'd win that whole $1,000. Oh, okay. If they oh. was 50 boats in. If they, so. if they had big fish. Right. That's cool. So what, have like in the past, have y'all caught, have they, somebody caught like a really big fish? What's the, do you remember the biggest? I can't remember the biggest, biggest fish, yeah. no. Yeah, y'all, last year you didn't have as many turn out, I think, because it was rainy or something? Uh, at that, when we had it last year, we had it in June, okay. and another, comp- another uh, company had one going the same time we did that okay. offered more prize money. Okay. What's the problem? Okay, okay. Well, this is a good, I think this would be a good time of year, wouldn't it, isn't it? That's what we're hoping. Yeah, yeah. Because I guess they're are they biting now? They, I was over there yesterday, and there was quite a few catching fish. Okay, okay. Well, y'all be sure and check this out. I had a rescue squad, but, uh, and this is how, how many years y'all been doing the tournament? Uh, this is probably close to our, I'd say, 20th, but it wasn't wow. consecutive. There's a few that we, we quit doing, yeah. yes. Okay. Uh, money goes to, to a good cause. Um Entry fee is $100. First place, based on 50 boats, is $1,500. Second place, $720. I would, you know what, fishing, though, to me, if I caught a fish and a big one, I, it'd tickle me. That money wouldn't matter. <laughs> as poor as I am, I just, just the satisfaction. Just, I got that big fish. Yeah, big yeah, just that satisfaction of being like, look what I did, you know. So, um, of course, I wouldn't turn the money down either. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, if y'all get a chance uh, on April 9th, two weeks, not this Saturday, but the next, uh, safe flight, which is early, earlier than I get up, y'all need to go. Uh, Goose Pond. I had to stop Goose, Goose yeah. Pond. Bait and, and tackle at Goose Pond. Bait, okay. Is that actually in the park? It is. Okay. It's there at Goose Pond. It's, okay. Um, Jamie and Michelle are the ones that run run it, and they help us out a lot. Okay. Promoting this and helping us with the tournament itself. Okay. Well, we appreciate that. We appreciate you, Mr. Gifford. Thank Pre- you so much for Thank coming you. on. Thank you. Glad to see you. Good, Glad good to, see, to you. see you, and hope things uh, continue. Good luck with your surgery tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. He's having some knee issues going on, but... Uh, 
check out any of these events coming up y'all be sure and check them out and help them support your local fire departments and rescue squads they they do so much for you that you don't even know about so make sure you check those out and support them every chance you get and next week tune in and see who we're gonna have because i don't have a clue but we'll have somebody so y'all be sure and tune in next week miss abigail should be back so you'll get to see her again so thank y'all so much and y'all have a wonderful week